Yeah, I, you can tell I haven't set up my video stuff yet. But anyway, so to start out, two disclaimers. Uh, one is I ordered this order before I got my other order. So um, if you see something on there that is a repeat, that's why. Two, um, there's one item that has not been delivered yet. And um, it's washing machine sheets. I don't know if you guys seen those advertised or not, but they're just, they look like dryer sheets, but they go in your washer to wash your clothes. So I thought, hey, <laughs> save some of the plastic trees in this world and try and get away from the plastic soap containers. And so I ordered some, but they're not in. They were sent separately. The only good news is Timu gives you a $5 credit if they don't deliver on time. So I've got all the order except for those. And was most excited about those. So this time, <laughs> my bag is huge. Well, it's huge for me. The other one was just half this, if that. Here's my bag. Last time it was about this wide. <laughs> yeah, you remember how low it was. So this is my new team bag. The only thing I've done is opened it and put uh, the prices that I paid. Again, hold on a minute. Oliver, no. Again, <laughs> he's terrible twos, guys. Again, I made this order before I got my other order. Or there are articles in here I wouldn't have got. Just saying. Uh, since I'm being just straight out truthful about how I feel about the Timu app and product. Anyway, I got 19 items minus the one for $26.72. And this one's not all jewelry this time. This is my second haul. <laughs> so I don't know if there'll be a third, you guys. I, I was actually surprised this came in on Monday. Today is Wednesday. Because... I thought I had another week to go because I wanted to make the video about what's been going on in my world. <laughs> that didn't happen. So anyway, there's my bag. So let's get into it. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to please subscribe. <laughs> Hit that little notification bell and like this video. It helps me with algorithms. Um, if you're viewing this on Coffee with Tammy... Um, I am still trying to hit a, hundred, a thousand subscribers on this channel as my other channel, Tammy's Nomadic RV Life. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not really in an RV anymore when I boondock and it's frequently, it's in a van and I want to do a comparison to that. I don't want to give my ideas away from the other, uh, content, um, creators, but just, just saying. Uh, I would like to bring these kind of videos to Coffee with Tammy and have the other one. Also, I hope you've been enjoying the shorts with my little dog, Oliver, who's going through the terrible twos, you guys. Oh, my God. I thought my kids were bad. Don't get them started. So, anyway, first article. I got these shoes. Okay. They were $4.47. I got them in black. There are a multitude of colors. They're just like little garden shoes to wear outside. I do take my dog out back. And as soon as he learns how to walk on a leash willingly, <laughs> I'll be taking him around the corner to the park. So these are the little shoes. Uh, they're very lightweight. Um, they don't feel anything like Crocs. Because I'm a Croc girl. But let me put them on real quick. Maybe I'll get my leg up there and show you guys. I got it. You see my tan line, okay, from not be knocking. Okay, slipping in is really easy. You have holes all over. <laughs> oh, I kind of love life. So anyway, uh, yeah, they're very comfortable at this point. So I'll let you know uh, in a couple of videos how these hold up for five bucks. I can't get them at Dollar Tree for that. And also this ring. Um, ring that I bought, remember the one I thought I think is made of um, surgical steel. I have had it on from that day and it's not turned me green. 
I shower, wash, scrub, everything with it. It's not turning me green. Just saying. Okay, my next item, I paid $1.48. And you know what? It's nice size. Yeah. I got this for rice storage. Um, I love jasmine rice. If you've never tried it, you have to try jasmine rice. Uh, you cook it differently than you do regular rice. You add more water. I think it's two and a half times. But anyway, this little rice container, nice size, again, bigger than my head, um, has a measuring cup on top of it. I don't know if you guys may. I love homemade rice. I'm not really into instant rice at all. <laughs> at all. Um, so let me get this on here. I'm thinking I'm going to get it on here. <laughs> right? Get it out. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see here. Does that go inside? It has to. It's got to be something to make this seal. Yeah, I don't think that goes inside, guys. I'm not really sure here. Yeah, yeah it must go inside. Yeah, I'm having a, mo I'm having a moment here. I can't get it on. I'll have to work on it. But anyway, if it works, if the lid fits, this would be really nice. It's got a gripper here. It's got your little measuring cup up here. Always digging. <laughs> Oops. Always digging for a measuring cup. So my rice container. Like I said, I eat a lot of homemade rice and beans. Part of some of the issues I have going on, and I'll explain that to you. So anyway, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that as long as the lid goes on there. <laughs> I'll let you know in one of my future videos. Okay, next. So I got me, these were $1.08. Uh, these are wash rags with pot holder corners. That's the only way I can describe them. <laughs> right? Okay, let's see here. These are regular size. They're like the size of a wash rag. But they have these little corners that you can hang to dry to access. It's I would say it's a smaller than a wash rag, but not by much. Um, it doesn't give me a product tag on what it's made out of, but I'm gonna they're very soft. I'm going to use these for body rags, not dish rags. They come in a mixture. There's pink, teal, uh, white. So I'll let you guys know how these are, but I think for a dollar eight, is that what I said? A dollar eight. I'm not going to dig the bag off the floor. Uh, I think that's a really good deal for face rags. You know, plus boondocking. These little things here, I'm just hanging on one of my mag magnetic clips. And uh, it dry right out instead of having dirty rags laying all over. <laughs> right. Okay. This was five cents. Um, so far, the quality of everything I've pulled out seems to be okay. I'm a little concerned about the rice container, but I'm sure once I get to understand the gist of it, uh, it'll work fine. If it don't, yeah. So five cents. And this is a little food container. And I got this for butter. I have butter dishes. Everybody has butter dishes. But I got to tell you, the rim around it gets natty. Yeah. But this one here, you can take this lid all the way off. Or it has a little snapping mechanism. Uh, so you can just open it and take out your, scoop your butter. Looks like it fit. Perfect. So I got that for $0.08. Cents, and I got it for butter. It, some nice hard plastic, you guys. So, if anything else, I got eight cents worth of plastic. I'm just saying. Okay, next. Ah, got me chonies. Um, yeah. Uh, due to some of my medical issues, I have been dropping weight rapidly. <laughs> and uh, I need a new chonies. It's pretty bad when your chonies fall off. <laughs> yeah. I had to go out and buy new clothes, too, so I'm not buying. Yeah, I'm back down to a 7 now. Um, when I was making videos for my RV life, I was in a size 0 to 3, depending on the pants. So, But anyway, these are uh, boy cut. They're called, like, boy cor yeah, boy briefs cut. Um, they're, yeah, they're kind of pretty. little bow on top. They're stretchy. Not that I need that anymore. 
Uh, these are made out of 90% polyester and 10% elastic. Um, I think, what did I say I paid for these? $3.99 for three pairs, so that's what, about a dollar and a quarter a pair, comparable to Walmart. Um, they have a little bow in the front. Let me check the inside here, make sure it's cotton. Yeah, you know this girl of cotton iron the crotch. Let's see here. Oh, they are cotton on the inside. So you get three colors. Uh, I think you can, if I remember correctly, you could pick different sets of colors. I got red. I got, um, it's like a cream with black stitching. No, I'm not modeling them. <laughs> you don't want to see old anyway in a pair of underwear. Just saying. Oh, I got four pair, you guys. And I got two pair of the black and whites. I think they're very feminine, very pretty. Yeah, four pair for three ninety nine. That's less than that's about a dollar a pair. That's really good. That beats Walmart, even as clearance sale. Just saying. So I got two whites, um, kind of a I want to say a skin tone with black stitching and red. But anyway, there are different color schemes you can get these in. I don't know if they're still three ninety nine. If they are, I might order a third package and and get me another set of these. They're very lightweight. Very feminine, very pretty. Yeah, kind of happy with those. Hopefully the fit is good. Okay, so <laughs> the next thing I have was $4.28. Out of all the commercials I've seen for Timu, this one intrigued me the most. Because <laughs> um, I think it's just an amazing uh, invention. I mean, we, we should have thought of this later. I can find the opening. <laughs> okay. So again, $4.28. It's a sink strainer, and it actually opens um, to fit a sink. I don't know if that's going to be wide enough. Um, but you can put vegetables, rinse your vegetables, and put them in here, your fruits. I don't know about you guys, but I get... And you know what? There's nothing hard to wrenching fruit. I mean, let's just be honest here. But it just seems like it's a pain in my butt. Um, so anyway, this can uh, it's got a little lock up here. It locks it into size. See them here? Um, this would be perfect to for your lettuce, your onions, your bell peppers, anything that you wrench, which is most you should be most should be most your vegetables, people. Okay, and fruits. Um, and you can leave them in here to drain. You can use this on your sinks to put cups, silverware, because um if you're like me, I, I use about a cup a day, one cup constantly. And one spoon and those are my coffee cup and spoon but to be able to wash it out and put it in here just to let it drain now remember I have roommates so I don't know that this would be convenient or that they will like it but I definitely like it if it was longer I'd put it from on the tub from one side to the other that's a brilliant idea we need a bigger one of these tea move <laughs> so anyway yeah and you know what? This is pretty sturdy plastic. It's, it doesn't bend at all. I really thought that it was going to be cheap made, but it's definitely not with two little handles on the side. So, yeah. I'm excited about trying that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This costs 28 cents. Now, it's a little chest. Now, I got to tell you, remember I told you guys in the last video to make sure that you read what the product is made out of. Again, I have looked high and low on the phone app and cannot find what anything is made out of. And there's a couple of really cute summer uh, dresses that I would like, but I'm not wearing polyester in the sun in Arizona at 116 to 20 degrees in the summer. I just stick to you. You know, it doesn't absorb uh, moisture or nothing. So I'm really... Uh, yeah, I would really like Timu to start putting that on their mobile app. Um, anyway, this was so cute. Isn't that cute? This was so cute online. I got it for earrings, rings, things I wear on a daily just to toss them in there so I don't lose them. But anyway, I thought it was so pretty and they have it in silver and gold. And then it came in. It's not glass. Painted plastic. It's a piece of junk. This is a piece of junk. You can get these at the Dollar Tree in the $1.99 store, and they're at least real glass. 
I'm just saying this yeah, may look good at a distance, but the minute I saw it, I said, that's not even worth 38 cents if that's what I paid for. I pay for this piece of junk, 28 cents. This isn't even worth the 28 cents in plastic. That's how cheap that looks. But that's just, that's what I expected from this company when I started ordering from them. Because you guys remember Wish, right? I, these people are run off of Wish if they're not owned by Wish. Um, and I knew that Wish, is, Wish had cheap, cheap products. This reminds me of a Wish product, um, cheap. I, I, yeah, I wasted a quarter. And it's really hard to say you waste a quarter. I mean, it costs you a quarter to get a cart you know, in a grocery store. But that's a piece of junk. That was not worth it. So my next item is a bathroom rug, 78 cents. I got two of these. I don't know why. <laughs> I only need one. Uh, but I got two of these, dark gray. This is a lighter gray. Okay. They were both 78 cents. And guys, 78 cents, you can't beat 78 cents. As long as it's got the back that won't let your rug slip when you get out of the shower. And nothing worse than taking a ride on the magic carpet <laughs> out of the shower. Um, they are soft. They're squishy. Um, they do have the rubber back. Again, I'll let you know in a future video if, if these are skid resistant. It's actually very soft and plush. This is very soft. But again, it's very thin. This is taco thin. Very, very thin. Which will, in my house will work because we have um, ceramic tile floors. And uh, there's not much clearance from the floor to the door. And to open it, we need a thinner rug. So that's why I went ahead and got it. Because I had seen the reviews that the rug was thin. Soft, plush, but thin. So I got this. And you know what? Perfect size for in front of your tub. In front of your bathroom sink. Yeah. So we're going to see if this actually works. Yeah, let's see. Made of polyester microfiber. I hate microfiber. Especially for sheets. Talk about static clean. Alright. So anyway, the light gray one should be exactly like this one. No, the light gray one actually has a pattern on the back. See, that's just like a rubber mat. Let's see if this one's skid proof, foot proof. I don't need to take no, no rides on carpet. Okay, so this one actually has a lifted back. Um, it's hard to explain. It's like these are little grippers like you'd put in your tub. And you can feel the rays. So I don't know if these are going to slide. Let me put it down here. See if I can get a slide going. The dog's driving me crazy. <laughs> it's going around in circles. Good boy. The, the puppy, yeah, no, that don't slide. That's really nice. Um, you know, I told you guys I was training him to a litter box. I don't use kitty litter. Don't use kitty litter. But um, it's really worked well. He's uh, He uses it. He's, from the day I put it in there, he has not soiled anywhere else in his, in his, in his cage, his crate, his den. And it's a big one, except for in that potty box. So... And I was told that that would happen. So anyway, two rugs. And I this one definitely don't slip. So that's definitely going in the bathroom. But that's a pretty good deal, I think. Absolutely. Most of these. A <laughs> dollar what? Oh, uh, I know. Like this one do? 78 cents. Was that possible? 78 cents. Can't beat it. Yeah. Not bad at all. Okay, so next, let's reach down in the bag. Deep in the bag. So, I don't know if you guys have seen the newest uh, craft. It could just be new to me. It could have been out forever and I just found it. Um, they are called diamond paintings. This was $1.98. Supposedly, it has all the diamonds and everything you need to do this. It doesn't seem very big. I, I thought it was at least a, you know, 8x10, but it's not. It looks like it's maybe a 5x7. 
Don't you love it when they put centimeters? Just yeah. So anyway, it is very tiny. It's only this big. But it's my first one, so uh, my hand is about bigger than it. So I would, I don't know, four by six maybe, five by seven, teeny tiny. Um, it's got a coat on the side here. Tells you what colors are in these little. It's kind of like needlepoint, you guys. Is what it looks like. Needlepoint with <gasps> uh, stones. It's got a little pin that you use to grab the stone with and place it in the hole. Get it out. You place it in the hole, and then I think this is to press. Oops! <laughs> I just dropped something. And this is to press them down, I guess. I'll have to read that or put your little diamonds in. Put that back in there. So I've been, I've seen this and I've been wanting to try it. Because, uh, you know, I can't do a lot of the stuff I used to do. You can only read so many books. I read a lot, so, yeah. I want somebody can sit up, you know, because I have to lay down to read. I don't know if this is sticky. So I'm not sure. It's got paper on both sides. I'm not, I'm not sure what that's for. I'm going to put that back in the little bag. Um, here's beads. Let me see. we got kind of a mess of beads in here. All separated. You know, a little pouch. <laughs> Get it open for y'all. So these are I, all the Di diamonds <laughs> that you're going to need to do this art and it's uh yeah very very long so there's yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen if i counted right different packs of diamonds i'll let you guys know and i might even show it on the video that was a dollar 98 this kit I'll let you know if I enjoy doing it too because I had considered using uh, junk jewelry and uh, and cutting it up and pasting it on pictures. That's beautiful. I don't I don't know what they call it, but I've watched that craft being done and that really intrigued me. And then I seen this the diamond one, so I thought, hey, what the hell? Might as well try it. You know, what's gonna happen? I don't like it because I do creative stitchery. You know, I. And I do needlepoint, so creative stitchery takes forever. I did, um, for my daughter's 18th birthday, I did her water mill, and I started a year in advance, and I was two weeks late. <laughs> so creative stitchery really does take a long time, and you really got to enjoy doing it and not rush your way through it. And I got a feeling that that's how this is. But this is a really pretty, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think it's really pretty. It's the heart. The blues are very pretty. So, I'll see how to do that. See how to mount it. You know, you got to be able to mount it on something so you can work with it. What else do I got here? Okay, so I jumped on the bandwagon of the lid and spoon holder. It was eight cents. Intrigued because, again, I have roommates, men, <laughs> roommates, and they're just roommates. Uh, but well, I have a 31 year old, and I have a guy I grew up with who's a little older than me. So anyway, 30, no, 8 cents. 8 cents for this. So what it is, let's put it together real fast. Is that going top or on bottom? Hmm. Got to go down here. It's going this way. No, nope, can't go in that way. I'm telling you guys, I have my moments. There we go. So what this is supposed to be is when you're cooking, you can, you know, you like let's say you're boiling soup and you want to stir it, taste it, or add to the pot. You put the lid right here instead of setting it on your counter and getting your counter all dirty. And you put a spoon here. So you'll see these on Timu. I've seen people use them. And to lay the, the lid of your pot, no matter how big, I, one lady took her biggest lid, pot lid, and put it on this. And it fit. And the spoon goes here and you got little grooves to hold it in. So, yeah, eight cents. Can't beat that. It helped keep the mess down to a minimum <laughs> hopefully it's nice and sturdy too it's not a cheap plastic all right let's see here okay so this i when i was
than the original prices. I had to laugh at these. Uh, these cost me a dollar eight. Now, I got these for the kitchen here. Again, I have two male roommates, so kind of keep it at a blue theme, you know. I don't know pink <laughs> in the kitchen. So I bought wash rags because you know how men are with dish rags. Uh, yeah, they tend to disappear and they get snotty and stinky, you know. Yeah. We won't go into it, but anyhow. Um, so I bought dish rags for the kitchen. Dollar eight. I thought, oh, what a killer deal. Until, <laughs> until I took them out to price them. That's how big they are. <laughs> now they're soft. But it's not like a throwaway. But it is about the size of wipey. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how well these are going to work as dish rags. But a half a rag, you guys. That's the stuff that worried me about this site. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. Really, you couldn't give somebody a whole wash rag and cut the count down? Because I think there are ten here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten here. So you could have gave me five whole rags, <laughs> dish rags, instead of ten half rags. You see what I'm saying? They make it seem like more, and you're actually getting the same amount. Um, yeah, remember these wash rags? Yeah, I didn't pay very much for these either. At least they're um, more than this. So I bought these for my my roommate's kitchen. I don't really cook out there that much. Once in a while, I get creative, <laughs> and uh, it's very pretty blue. They're very soft. I just don't know how adequate they're going to be to wash pans and stuff so not real impressed not real impressed at all <laughs> yeah it's like that chest the plastic chest the dreaded plastic chest what else do we got here oh i got another bead uh art diamond art uh this one was the dollar 98 you we know what comes in this pack same exact packaging so, um, I'm just going to show you the picture on this one. This one's pretty. I like purple. It's my favorite color. People think pink is because I wear a lot of pink. No, purple. I like pink. Okay, guys. This one seems to be bigger. Bigger than the last one. I think the other one. The last one. The first one's about half this size. That's a dragon with the beautiful purples and pinks. Blues, yeah, blue, oh, gorgeous. Yeah. And again, it's got the little kit, and it's got all the beads. And they have numbers on them, so this shouldn't be too damn hard, even for me. If I can needlepoint, right? Remember those rugs? Remember the can't hook hook rugs where you take uh, you get all these round pieces of heavy duty yarn, and you have to. You know, I was into that for a while too. Oh, my hands start cramping. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, my next one is another pair of blue earrings. This is a beautiful blue. I don't know if they're the same exact as my other blue ones because I'm not digging them out. You guys will let me know. Uh, $1.48. I only bought one pair of earrings. I did want to update you on that thumb ring that I got. Never turned me green. Still hasn't turned me green. But these are a beautiful uh, silver tone. And blue, and it looks like the same blue that was on those other earrings. Let's see if I can get closer here. Aren't those pretty? I think that blue is just beautiful. Ice blue. And it's got the lever backs again. Let's see. So that it snaps into place and you don't lose your earrings at night. Um, yeah, I've had these on for a few days. I, I want to wear them and see if they actually start tarnishing or turning colors or turning me green because <laughs> i i am uh, very sensitive to cheap metals so i have to be careful um that's why i only wear you know silver or some kind of light colored gold so anyway dollar 48 can't beat that those are really pretty okay next 
We have a silicone $1.28. It's a silicone pot holder. Uh, I guess you could use this as a pot holder. What I'll use it for, again, blue themed. Uh, pretty blue, actually. Looks like slate blue. Uh, to put a hot, like if you make lasagna and you want to pull it out of the oven and put it down to serve it. This is nice and thick, too, guys. <laughs> uh, nice and thick. It's got a hole to hang it. Um, looking forward to this. I, you know what I make? I have these molds. This is called silicone molds that I make candies and cakes and stuff in. And they really are like a baker's dream or a cooker's dream because they clean up really easy. Oliver. No. He's such a brat. Anyway, so I was looking forward to having this instead of just throwing a pot holder down. Because I don't know if you guys ever notice when you throw a pot holder down and you put a hot say lasagna pan on top of it it gets hot so if you're working with a real cherry wood table or something like that you're going to get that hot spot on your wood and <laughs> you don't want that so yeah for a dollar 28 i thought that was a really reasonable price uh dollar store is a dollar 25 and i think the 99 trees is, is like a dollar 99 on these now so that was a good buy Okay, I got this for me and my brat dog. Um, it's very pretty. 68 cents. This is a car de decal for your car window. And it's eternal. Yeah, that eternal sign. I got it on my pinky. Not with a little dog paw and the heart over here. I think that'll look really nice on my dark blue van and my blacked out windows. Not bad for that price. Uh, we'll see how it sticks. I know that at Walmart, window decals for the outside of your car start at like four something and go up. So, yeah. Okay, what else? We're almost done here, guys. Oh, this was why I gave you guys a disclaimer, okay? Because I was so not impressed by this item in my first haul. Uh, when I seen it in my second haul, I was like, I can't believe I ordered two of those. Just saying. It's not worth it to me. Although I gotta tell you, I gave the other one to my roommate. He absolutely loves it. He says it's perfect for dusting tight spots, big spots. He said uh, with the extender, he can get up and get the cobwebs, stuff like that. Uh, so I can't really believe I bought another one. <laughs> I paid 80. How much did I pay? 48 cents. Uh, yeah, because I was getting the, going to get me another one at the 99 cent store, but a dreaded duster yeah I can't believe I had ordered two before I found out what the other one was like <laughs> so yeah I was kind of dismayed again I don't think this product is worth it my roommate swears by it but I don't think it's worth it that little this is ridiculous this size is again you have to be careful, you guys, because uh, they don't, yeah, they want you to think it's bigger than it is, made of a different material than it is. I mean, that little glass chest, go look it up on Timu. Looks like glass. I don't remember reading plastic anywhere because I would not have got it. Um, and this one even, I guess this comes off. I don't know. This one's sliding around, so yeah, how cheap. This is so cheap. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, this one won't even, isn't even fitting well. It uh, got a big gap at the bottom. This is a cheap. I would not. I can't believe I bought this again. <laughs> Piece of crap. That's garbage. That's not even worth donating. Okay, last item. Yay! <laughs> um, again, I don't know if I'm gonna order from this place again. So one of my roommates is uh. My friend, my childhood friend's son, he's 31. You know how, yeah, anybody who's younger than 40 are gamers. And I say that because my son, my oldest son is like 38 and he still games. <clears throat> but I got him this. It cost me $1.58. And first of all, it's way smaller than it was made to look on the site. Um, there was probably dimensions and I didn't pay attention because... 
when you see something visually, you just expect it to be the way they want you to see it, that it's actually what the product is. Got to be careful with Kingo, you guys, because this is itty bitty. <laughs> that bitty. Um, it says, keep out, gamer at play. Leave food and drink at the door and then go away. Enter at your own risk. And it's got a little piece of rope. <laughs> um, I guess for a dollar fifty, yeah, might be worth it. Uh, you can tell that all this is is a, a sticker on top of a piece of balsam wood, and it is balsam. I think that's the name. Of it. That's how you pronounce it. But yeah, like you make models out of <laughs> uh, real cheap. This is really cheap. Um, I'm not impressed. Uh, it's even faded. You can see that the colors are kind of faded. It's not even printed nicely. Um, another one of those products that I think really wasn't, wasn't worth it. So, with that being done, that bag is empty. <laughs> and again, I got 19 items for $26.72. It's a mess. Um, I'm excited about the shoes. I, I'm, I'm really excited about the garden shoes. I'm excited about the rug. Um, I think it'll be perfect for my bathroom that I share with a roommate uh, that we don't slip. I think the wash rags, my personal wash rags for my face, I think that's a good buy. I'm excited about the strainer. It's not as big again as I thought it was going to be. It's not as wide, and it's obviously not as long. This is a joke. This is what Wish was. What have we got? Leftover Wish product? This junk. I'm excited about the underwear. Um, it seems like uh, besides the earrings and, and some of the jewelry, I have to say that ring really amazed me. It's still not tarnished. Um, and I've, yeah, bleach, Windex, ammonia, everything. Uh, dishes and it still hasn't tarnished or turned me green uh, it's kind of wide it's uh, not a very comfortable little ring I kept on it's not like this ring but then I've had ring on that phone for years um, so I'm excited about the underwear I'm excited about the little beadwork I'm excited about a lot of the stuff that I that I got um, I can't reiterate enough uh, to use the return um, option with this company I'm not going to it's not worth my time <laughs> to send back a little plastic chest it's not a bargain it's a piece of crap it's junk even I wouldn't even put that in my kids toy box my little girl uh, she was very she's very prissy <laughs> um, I wouldn't even gave her that as a toy to put her junk in so um, yeah not impressed yeah, I, I'm sure some of the items are impressive, um, but the fact is, once you go through and think about this, you guys, they have thousands and thousands and thousands of items on the site that you can buy, and some are pretty expensive. I don't know if you've been there yet, but yeah, there's there's items that are $100. Um, would I put my trust in this company, knowing that... Um, some of the pictures aren't as, uh, the item is really, I mean, to me, that's deception. <laughs> Just saying, I don't know that I would spend a hundred dollars. Um, I don't, I can't even find out what a shirt's made out of so I can do clothes for you guys. Um, I don't know if I would spend a, anything over five. I don't even know if I spend $10 Just saying on an article over fear from what I've learned out of just two hauls over fear of knowing that yeah they they can use a lot of visual enhancements and lack of information and make you think it's something that it's not um, I don't know if I'll do third haul I just don't I I, I know that I'm tired of having hundreds hundreds of text messages every day and all it does is take you right back to the site trying to get you to buy something else um over and over and over again it's all day long and if they're not answering your text messages they start emailing you 
And if you're not if you're not answering your emails, then you have to sign a thing that it's okay for them to to put their little app info up on your phone. So every time they want to send you an app to app, it pops up. So that they're hitting you three times, three different ways all day long just to get you to their app. Um, I think any company that has a, a pliable, a, a nice product, uh, don't have to shove their site down your throat like they do. Now, not saying that there ain't product on here that's totally worth it. Um, again, the thumb ring still hasn't turned me green. And I read another lady who the jewelry didn't turn her green. Uh, some of it doesn't tarnish. One lady said she hadn't, didn't even have them in her ears 24 hours and they turned her, they made her ear swollen. They, yeah, the fake gold came off or something and yeah, it turned her green. Um, so it's buyer beware for the most part. Um, yeah, so that's my experience. I did have one comment of somebody who said, uh, gave some information on on Timu. Um, and no, that dog's driving me crazy. Uh, that said that they, they found it. Yeah, they invade your space, they eat up your phone. Uh, Oliver, I said no. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to sweat the paper. No. His nemesis. <laughs> I don't hate him with it, but he sure is scared to death of it. Um, so I, yeah, that's my my take on Timu, and uh, not slandering the company. I'm just saying buyer beware. That's what I have to say. Um, I'll let you know if anything, you know things that I like if they end up not being what I thought they would be. But there's some of the stuff that's just a joke, you guys. I, I can't even bust with this because this part here, it just moves around and around and around and around on a little piece of, I don't know what that stuff's even called. It was wrapped around. It's like what you pack stuff in. I don't even know if that'll work. You know, my, my roommates seem to have been better put together. So anyway, that's my team move for today. My second haul could be my last haul. So I appreciate all the emails. And to those viewers who are commenting on Tammy's RV Life, if your comment doesn't get answered, it's because I have it where I have so many haters. <laughs> yeah, uh, sometimes telling it like it is isn't very... Yeah, you don't get a lot of friends for it, but, you know, I'm not going to be bullied, seriously. So I have haters, and uh, unless I have approved you, pre-approved you for your comment to pop up in the comment section, and it, I have pre-approved people, lots of them, people I trust, you know, um, yeah, if you're a troll or you're a hater, you're not, you're not going to get through all my comments, no. So, but it's not because... I don't want new subscribers. I adore new subscribers. Um, it's that I don't trust the old ones. Because I, I called a lot of people out in the RV world. Uh, yeah, a lot, if you watch those videos. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit that bell, and give me a thumbs up or down. Either one hits the algorithms. Uh, thank you for watching the short videos on Oliver. Uh, again, he's driving me crazy. Terrible too, so horrible. And for sure, next week, I am doing a video on some of my health issues. <laughs> um, and some of what I've been doing the last year. And if you're on my RV channel, you know that I'm a boondocker. I'm a gypsy of heart. I have a cousin who's called me gypsy my whole life. Um, uh, yeah, I get bored and I'm gone for a while. Two, three months at a time. <laughs> Like I said, I was, I've was i been out most of the last year and a half, year, year and a half, except for over medical reasons, and we'll talk about those, <laughs> um, I promise. Sorry I've been gone for so long, you guys, so much. You know, sometimes life just goes in a direction you're not expecting, and it takes you a minute to step up and understand the direction and to make the best of it. But I still believe that you have to love yourself. In order for others to love you, you have to be true to yourself. 
And that's why I'm not going to shut up because people want me to, or I'm not going to give you my true opinion uh, because I love myself enough to respect my own opinion. And I don't just say anything off the top of my head. I give things a lot of thought, you know, especially putting it out there on YouTube, you know. Um, but I have a couple of things planned for both channels. Um, just going to take a minute to get them going and to learn to use my camera and my editing app. I haven't used forever. You'll notice I have no intro on either one of these channels right now. And it's because I just, yeah, it's been forever. So make sure you, you subscribe and that you check back in. If you leave a comment and I see your comment, I will answer. And I thank you for your comments. And I'm sure that there are billions and, and I know that I had thousands of comments that I hadn't answered over the last three years. I probably won't. Nothing against anybody who commented, unless you're a troll <laughs> or a hater. And I wouldn't answer you anyway, unless I was being hateful right back, because I do happen to do that sometimes if you catch me in the wrong mood. So, just the Irish in me. Yeah, I got a wee bit of that fire. So anyway, you guys have a great day. My next video will definitely be about issues that have been going on and are going on in my life. And I hope you enjoyed this Timu. I had to check it out myself, you guys. And sometimes things are just too good to be true. My dad used to say, if it's too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Have an awesome day. Remember to love yourself. Love those around you. Go do something nice for somebody. Peace out.